I got a humpback mule, a plow, and a tater patch eggs that are gonna hatch someday. I got the Lord above and a good girl to love me. I'm the richest man in the world. Thank you, thank you, Lord above, for smiling down on me. I'm richer now than any man has any right to be. Health and love and happiness have been my cup of tea. The richest man in all creation surely envies me. I got a humpback mule, a plow, and a tater patch eggs that are gonna hatch someday. I got the Lord above and a good girl to love me. I'm the richest man in the world. I've got water in my well and heaven in my heart. I have a perfect woman I can trust when we're apart. Cash enough to see a show and eat out now and then. A roof, a bed, a fishing pole, and folks who call me friend. I got a humpback mule, a plow, and a tater patch eggs that are gonna hatch someday. I got the Lord above and a good girl to love me. I'm the richest man in the world. I don't have much cash on hand, my bank account is small. But tell me what are riches but contentment after all? Other folks may say I'm poor, but I know it's not so. Cause when I count my blessings, I'm the richest man I know. I got a humpback mule, a plow, and a tater patch eggs that are gonna hatch someday. I got the Lord above and a good girl to love me, I'm the richest man in the world. Well, the rich folks talk about the grub they eat. Well, I got all of those rich folks' feet. I got a whole field of yellow yams. And a smokehouse filled with country ham. Talk to me about caviar. Nothing but fish eggs packed in a jar. I got a whole pond full of great big trout. Fish eggs? What are you talking about? I've got no fancy swimming pool. The creek in the woods is nice and cool. I'm a lucky man, a wealthy man. I'm lucky, I'm wealthy. Ah. Back mule, a plow, and a tater patch eggs that are gonna have someday. I got the Lord above, and a good girl love me. I'm the richest man in the world. I got a humpback mule, a plow, and a tater patch eggs that are gonna have someday. I got the Lord above, and a good girl love me. I'm the richest man, yes, sir, in all the world. three years, they announced their retirement. I'm David Wright, and during this performance, I'll be taking a moment here and there to reflect on this quartet. I've known these guys for many years. I was there at their first appearance on the international stage. It was 1976 in San Francisco. Then and ever since, their music combines ringing harmony and sincere expression spiced with a little country slapstick produce a brand of barbershop that is truly one of a kind. I'm going back to the shack where the black-eyed Susans grow. I love them so. They're all around on the ground where I found the one I know so long ago. The honeybees all know I'm coming. I seem to hear them softly humming. You'll be losing, little Susan. So you better be getting busy. Just roll again down. 
down the lane to that plain old rusty seat would be a treat. And then I'll bring out the ring for the finger of my sweet. She's mighty sweet. And when I'm tied to the pride of the countryside, maybe I'll introduce you to my corn-fed bride. When I come back to the shack where the black-eyed Susans roll. Calvin and Willard Yoder, the two gents in the middle, Calvin's son Wesley on the right, hailed from a farm in western Missouri near a little town called Garden City. There, life is simple and full of the hearty obligations of country life. Every morning at four o'clock, these boys meet in the barns, the barn after rounding up the cows from the pasture. As they perform their tasks, they laugh and talk in their plain spoken manner, and inevitably, some of their rural humor makes its way from the barn to the stage. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had a dog, E-I-E-I-O. He had a dog once. Oh, Matter of fact, it was a pit bull. A pit bull. And I crossed him with Lassie. Lassie? No. You know what I got now? I got a dog that'll bite your leg off and then run for help. <laughs> With Bellow here and Bellow there, here, Bellow there, Bellow where Bellow McDonald had a farm, E I E I O. And on this farm he had a chick. Huh? Gun. Could have done that in the first place. Well, that was the rest of it, dummy. E-I-E-I-O. Had a chicken. <clears throat> Had a chicken, too. <laughs> and I crossed her with a silkworm. What? You know what I got now? Sure you do. No, I got a chicken that lays eggs with patty hose inside. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're laughing. Not much. Kind of. Chick, 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 only had a three-foot wingspan. Figure that one out, oh, Jim. Wait a minute. The nighttime, he had a, a six-foot wingspan, That's right. and in the morning, he'd fly into the sunrise, only had a three-foot wingspan? You know why? How come? Because he had to fly like this. With 
up here in a flip flop there, here flip there, flop there, where flip flop old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-I-O. And on his farm he had a rabbit, E-I-I-O. Yep, had a rabbit too. <laughs> But you know what? My neighbor lady run over and mashed him flat her pancakes. She did. That's what? true. Yeah. But I tell you what, she stopped her car and, and took out a little bottle of something, poured it on that rabbit. And you know what? He just got right back up and took off running again. He did. And he ran about 50 yards and turned around and waved at me. Wait, That's yeah, right. No. Yeah, he did. And then he ran a little yeah, further on, and then wait, he waved wait, and ran wait, away. Wait, he just what, kept what doing was that. in a bottle? Well, I wondered. So what I asked, was it? It was hair restorer. <laughs> Really hey, went with a permanent wave. <laughs> <laughs> I got two. I got two. <laughs> well, hip hop there, hip hop there, 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 hip hop there, where hip hop old MacDonald had a farm, E I I O. And on this farm he had a cow, E I I O. A fly flew in her ear and ended up in the milk bucket. <laughs> you know what that proves? In one ear, out the other. Ah! Hey, you know what you call a cow that just had a calf decaffeinated? <laughs> well, moo moo here, moo moo there, here moo there, moo ever, moo moo on McDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Yeah! qualities that we've come to admire in these men, but perhaps the thing that stands out above all else is the genuineness of their style. They just do what they do best, and it comes from somewhere deep within. Many of us will never forget one particular song from that championship performance of 1986. More than any other, it displayed the elegance and poignancy and simplicity of barbershop harmony at its very best, and it touched our hearts. Tie me to your apron strings again. I know there's room for me upon you. Back all those happy hours when you kissed my tears away from day to day. I thought that I was right, but I was wrong. Please take me back tonight. Strings again. 
former members, all of whom have remained close friends over the years. Back when they became international champions in 1986, the tenor was Don Kale, who remained with the quartet until 1991 when Wesley Yoder stepped in. Don, in turn, had joined the quartet in 83, replacing the memorable Rufus Kanegi. I'm sorry, the original tenor, Everett Roth. Baritone Jim Bagby, that famous man on the left, joined the quartet in 76, replacing, <laughs> replacing Rufus Kanegi. My apologies. Lead and bass Calvin and Willard Yoder were there from the beginning. The original foursome, Everett, Calvin, Willard, and Rufus, all of the Mennonite faith, formed the Rural Route Four in 1971. Now, the Mennonites are a gentle people who embrace a quiet rural life, extolling the virtues of peace, hard work, and love of fellow man. It was the earnest faith of these original four members that molded the style and character of the Rural Route Four, and that faith is joyfully expressed in the hymns and spirituals they still love to sing. One of our favorites is called, Don't Worry, You'll Get Your Blanket Back. Oh. Something like that on our last night and screw it up that evening. Uh, get uh, your uh, blanket back. That's almost it. It should be close. Fear not, thy comforter shall return to thee. That's all. <laughs> well, I woke up this morning feeling fine. I woke up with heaven on my mind. I woke up with joy in my soul. Cause I knew my Lord had control. Well, I knew I was walking in the light. Cause I'd been on my knees in the night. And I prayed till the Lord gave a sign. And now I'm feeling mighty fine. Well, I'm feeling, feeling mighty fine. Feeling mighty fine. I've got heaven on my mind. Don't you know I want to go where the milk and honey flow? There's a light that always shines down inside this heart of mine. I've got heaven, heaven on my mind. And I'm feeling, feeling mighty fine. I've been walking with Jesus all the time. We're walking and talking as we climb. We're traveling a road to the sky where I know I'll live when I die. He's been telling me all about that land and he tells me that everything is grand and he says that a home will be mine and now I'm feeling mighty fine. Well, I'm feeling mighty fine.
sweet lips softly trembled Neath my own And now the Rural Route 4 wishes to bid farewell Many thanks to the friends who have made this 23 journey so very rewarding. And to the Rural Route 4, I and many others wish to say thanks for the heartfelt songs you've shared, thanks for the joy you've brought us, thanks for the eloquent statement you've made through your music, thanks for being what you are. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rural Route 4.
Thank you very much. We were standing back, the Guest House gang was standing backstage during all that, saying we really should not come out. We should let the show end with the Rue Route 4. Uh, and so we do feel a little bit embarrassed even being here and sharing the stage with this quartet. Uh, we think, I'm sorry, it's the truth. Uh, we've watched this quartet. No. It says the Rural Route 4 is 23 years old, and I was seven when they started. How old are you now? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> but I mean, I'm older than Wes, unfortunately. Um, but I, as a kid, uh, really looked up to and admired the Rural Route 4, saw them every year in every contest. They were an incredible quartet. They're an inspiration to all barber shoppers, not only in their singing, but in the way uh, that they have carried themselves for 23 years as the gentlemen that they truly are. And as a quartet that's had the, the thrill and pleasure of sort of sharing their, uh, sharing their listing as, as an international champion, um, I'll tell you the truth. Our, the Gas House Gang hopes that someday we can live up to the reputation and goodwill and fellowship that uh, the Rural Route 4 gave us such a wonderful example of. So I do want to thank them and tell them that we're honored to Jesus 